everybody, this is Nia Fyler coming from OPA Israel to talk about the new moon, sorry, the full moon and Capricorn coming up. And I want to start by talking about how these transits connect to what we've been walking through in the last few years. We are at a time of global turmoil. And I'll try to be as Capricornian and precise as I can saying that this is a time with this full moon in Capricorn to own up to our own responsibilities to grow up and mature take personal responsibility and align with what we need to align with with our own truth with the laws that we know that if we abide by we'll find our true freedom within them because Saturn and Capricorn Talk about maturity. Talk about the experience that we gain in order to understand what's really good for us and our environment and what isn't. And then the self-discipline we adopt to follow these rules and actually live within them. True freedom is within the laws, says Saturn and Capricorn. And indeed, this is a time that we are walking through, that we are breathing through, that in every time an era that it came to humanity this was a time of great progress and great turmoil and this turmoil on a global level is going to continue over the next few years and that's another reason and maybe the primary reason that mankind needs to understand that we can no longer says Capricorn wait for somebody to save our ass we're the one who's supposed to do it no savior is going to come and salvage us from the pile of shit that we are all sending in if we don't do it ourselves. We are the ones we have been waiting for, says Saturn. And the time is now. Mercury that was in Kazemi with the sun, in the heart of the sun over the last few days, is still opposing this full moon in Capricorn, asking us in Cancer that our emotional progress, that the acts, decisions, words, and communication that we put out to the world at this time would be connected with our hearts and emotions, A, eh? and would be in alignment with that maturity, that responsibility, that understanding, would abide by that self-discipline. And there's a promise there, there's a trine to Jupiter, the great benefactor in Taurus, promising satisfaction, promising material wealth, promising better uh, enjoyment of the fact that we are in a material plane in a body with senses if we only abide by the rules and responsibility that we know we should take upon ourselves and you know when Pluto the great transformer of death and rebirth in our lives is standing square to the nodes really we don't have any other choice develop or be miserable and uh, being miserable is not an option in my world so if we do want more satisfaction if we do want more grace on a material level as well this is a time to grow up mature and follow your own rules this is Nia Feiler thank you for listening Live long and prosper.